morning sunshines. Everybody's awake yet? Mariusha Yema, nobody's to snore. <laughs> Actually, that was a quiet night, that's for sure. <laughs> Either nobody snored or uh, we slept so well that we couldn't hear each other. I st I still have we are at Huasa Lake in British Columbia. It was pouring pretty much most of the night. Good morning, man. And we stayed up till like 12 o'clock last night. <laughs> Drinking whiskey. Finished the bottle of whiskey. Fire was running. And then everybody peacefully went to bed. Good morning. Hey, how much, how much water did you make for us? I'm bo uh, boiling the whole pot of water. Oh, so that's gonna be enough for three coffees, you think? Yeah, I think so. So, starting the morning with homemade bacon by mm. Robert, by Robert too. Robert K. Robert K. <laughs> this is a Robert one that's cutting it. Robert B is cutting it. <laughs> Open that up. <laughs> Since my eggs were destroyed yesterday off-road, it almost looks scrambled as it is. So it's gonna be scrambled today. Portek with extra napletek. Second day, and uh, we will be heading now towards Gray Creek. We had a pretty good sleep, like I mentioned this morning, uh, with the rain on and off, and uh, same thing was happening uh, in the morning when we had a breakfast. And even right now, we got a little bit of overcast, and uh, the rain comes on and off. Uh, let's hope it won't be too muddy uh, where we're heading. Um, I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh, yesterday when uh, when we were off-road I lost the screw that's holding the main frame uh, on my pannier rack so we had to get that uh, looked after uh, this morning and I just got a screw at a hardware store and put it back on a temporary one at least to get it going because otherwise I would lose the probably break the whole rack uh, with the weight of the pannier. Uh, none of us uh, did that route before, so that's, this is new to uh, all three of us. And apparently Grey Creek is uh, pretty known uh, by adventure riders here in British Columbia and Alberta. Uh, we heard a few good things about it, so uh, we decided to take that uh, and tackle it ourselves. Alright, so what we see in front of us is a Kimberley ski area and I've been here only once I think and that's a year ago when I was still back in high school and that was when uh, I came for a visit uh, that guy here Robert in front uh, so I still lived in Winnipeg at that time welcome to Kimberley there's a chance we may stop here for coffee 
you need to fill up? We, yeah, it's a good idea. So I think we should go back. In Kimberley, um, this is where the uh, Great Creek Pass uh, starts in a few kilometers from here. Tom has to uh, fill up. Rob has to uh, catch up on his uh, vaping. <laughs> So we'll see uh, what kind of adventure the uh, Great Creek Pass will bring. Probably uh, wet and muddy and who knows if we're gonna make it all the way through. We'll see. I think we got about uh, 15 kilometers left uh, to the trail. The pavement we are just using to commute from one trail to another trail. So we reached the trail. And it's gonna be messy. So yesterday we were putting up with dust and today no dust. You know guys, they, they say when you're looking at things and uh, close to in front of you and you will ride on and you will drive on that. I just checked that on a few times and uh, it's true actually. Uh, you stare at a pothole or a, or a rock and you will be on it. Like literally, like it never fails. I thought it's just bullshit, but it's realistic now. <laughs> Look at all these slides everywhere. So we've got about, a, I think about 100 kilometers of this road in front of us. Holy, it's getting pretty slushy here. Well, that's gonna be interesting. But whatever you do, don't get stuck in this Jello. Look at how beautiful and clean. Oh, she loves it. Or he, Fatso. That's a Grubas, right? Grubas. And this guy here always tells me vape is not addictive. <laughs> 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 it's, yours. it's not no this is not addictive come on <laughs> as soon as he stops he pulls it out he's better than i am actually <laughs> first uh, pit stop to clean the visors Looks like the uh, Africa Queen uh, needs a car wash, a rear bike wash. Everything is a car wash. How is the uh, Grube? <laughs> Grube is chiste? Grube is like a chiste. What is this chiste? Fat ass is pretty... pretty dirty too. <laughs> oh, check this, check this out. Holy smokes, Rob. Zero kilometers per hour. I can see that from my bike. I can see that from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here is Tiny. Also dirty. Tiny <laughs> father. Yeah, well.
a quick pit stop uh, right at the side of the river. We're just about to cross this bridge. The views are amazing. It's uh, clearing up a little bit, not much, but it's uh, you know raining on and off, a little drizzle. The road is wet and slippery, but <laughs> so far we're managing. <laughs> What, another? You're gonna smoke again? <laughs> Super, mister. Should we come here for the night? <laughs> are you uh, are you mocking Bogdan? <laughs> Robert is going to doing 360. Let's see if it's gonna happen. Not bad. Not bad. So that is the biggest challenge for all of us, this road. Wow, this is now gorgeous. Beautiful. This is slushy. Same thing, slide out all over the road. Holy shit. Gotta stay away from the middle. Wow! Oh my gosh. That was a big asshole. Just a quick pit stop to uh, record the views. And check this out. This is really nice. Okay, now the rain is picking up. I wonder if we're gonna be able to make it with that if there's gonna be so much rain because the road's supposed to get even worse up, up in the pass. Wow, too bad it's uh, pouring like that and clouds are everywhere. That would be a beautiful ride and the sceneries. Why it had to happen on that weekend that we decided to go? The weather was awesome for last month or over a month and uh, the day that we left it's sort of my fault because uh, the boys wanted to go early. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a time off uh, from work. Look at those views. Look at those views. It's just a, wow. The distance is pretty short, but the speed that we're going, it's uh, going to take quite some time, actually, because we're going like between 40 and 60 kilometers per hour. And none of us has real experience to be off-road it's uh, you know we go here and there but uh, it's all new to us this playground but it's fun that's a pretty high truck traffic logging trucks are every few minutes here I don't know if I would want to be a truck driver 
on this road. I hope they get paid well. Taking a beating in those trucks uh, on those crappy roads. Can't imagine, like I used to drive a truck uh, for a living for a bit, but uh, I hold vans and uh, mostly beef on the pavement, of course. And those guys here, that's crazy. Uh, to put up here with all that noise, that rattling and vibration all day long, oh my god at this point I don't even care how dirty I get once you reach, reach that limit oh there they are, another one That's a big hole. So here we just made it to the top of the pass. Uh, 
and the road is getting rougher and rougher. Oh, actually, we, we still got a little bit of a climb. I thought it's the end according to the map looking here, but maybe a few, a little bit more climb. Okay, now we're gonna be going down. So that's a top elevation on this pass. So we are at 2073 meters above the sea level. And another quick pit stop. All right, the clouds are here. Can I reach the maximum height? Well, we don't know if this is it, but appears to be. This is the top of the Great Creek Pass. So Mr. Paulson, are we here? Uh, uh, so we made it. is no longer leaking. <laughs> the bad news is that it uh, left <laughs> all its oil. <laughs> it's a little bit stuck here. We uh, got another uh, 17 kilometers to go, I guess, till the end of this leg. Not according to Tom's GPS, according to your GPS, you got a what? 17. The Concha. But that hasn't changed since we started driving. It's actually increased. Beginning or the end? Beginning. Okay, then, uh, then I think the, the final destination is coming back to Kimberley. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> All right, so it just finished snowing here. And we got 1.5 degrees. Awesome. Awesome. Clever. Steep grades, 14%. All right, so that will be fun. <laughs> so we just had a snack and now we're heading all the way down. Just too bad the weather doesn't cooperate so we can see actually something because at this point it's still raining. Sometimes you guys are asking me if I double up the speed. Uh, yeah, on the highway sometimes I do. And I'll do that on this video sometimes as well but because uh, I don't want to have all this boring speed uh, or boring footage uh, for, so, to watch uh, when I'm heading uh, down this road but uh, if I put the section this way you have an idea because I'm actually talking so you, I wouldn't be able to do
Wow, that was close. What's that? It's warming up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> what happened? I to take no, we are not able to go to our place to go to I locked it. You didn't let go? I thought you were going to play it, but you went further. No, I went further, I didn't see that. I was like, you're going to play it. I was like, you're going to play it. That was fun. We are getting to the final destinations for today, which is Grey Creek, uh, just up ahead. Ooh. Okay, there we are, Grey Creek. made it to Grey Creek, safe and sound. So now, after having coffee, we're Heading along the Kutni Lake towards Kazlo. Again, that's still British Columbia. But, uh, we will try to look either for a hotel, motel, or campsite out there. It doesn't look like we're gonna have improvement in the forecast at all. So we are still gonna head out to for a ferry. Hopefully, we can. I still catch it because it's uh, getting like five o'clock in the evening. I'm not sure if that's very even. 
if that ferry is even open uh, all, all, all day uh, or it's just a few runs of the smaller ferry. Perfect timing. You're just pulling it. Trevor, you're sick at you. final destination as we said earlier today is going to be Kazlo and uh, we just got off the ferry a couple twisties unfortunately can't do what we would like to do on those twisties because it's wet and it is getting quite steep here and the corners are quite tight as much as I would love to push it for all of us uh, not possible and on top of it uh, the guy in front of us a barrel on the roof is riding 60 kilometers per hour that's what a load wheelbarrow on a car a roof Okay guys, so we are approaching Kazlo right now, we're just minutes away and uh, all of us are quite exhausted after today's uh, ride. It was quite tough uh, from weather to the conditions that we had on the trail. Uh, it got quite cold too and uh, happy to pack for a night somewhere and the usual routine, probably a couple of drinks before bedtime and most likely we might find a hotel here so that's another day behind us tomorrow we'll start uh, we actually we're gonna still plan today where we're gonna go the off-road idea will have to get cancelled because the rain is too heavy in the mountain so on top of it uh, the snow there's the chances of snow even coming down and uh, we don't want to get stuck anywhere uh, as much as it was fun but at the same time it could be risky there's not much uh, traffic going on in this road so uh, if something ever happens uh, you, all we have to do is uh, a relay on the spot uh, GPS or spot service so we're not gonna push it on a beautiful lake uh, last time we were here it was actually quite windy What 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 what? Tu jest klon prawdziwy kurde Aga chciała Hey honey check this out with just for you 